If Vulkan is not showing in the GPU settings of RPCS3 or any other programs, don't worry, you're at the right place. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. Note that every website or code mentioned in this video is linked in the description. So this problem mostly shows up in laptop computers and is most likely because of your integrated graphics card. On the other hand, if you have a PC computer and you don't have an integrated GPU graphics card, you only have to install or update your display adapter drivers. But if the updating didn't work, skip to this part. If you don't know what an integrated or dedicated graphics card is, to make it simple, most laptops have a small GPU inside their chipset where the CPU is located. It is called the integrated graphics card. Meanwhile, there is another GPU more powerful and more power consuming. This one works as your main GPU for games, which is called the dedicated GPU. Most laptops have two display adapters for each GPU, one for the dedicated GPU and one for the integrated GPU. On the contrary, PC computers mostly have only one display adapter. If your chipset is AMD Ryzen, you have an AMD Radeon integrated graphics card. And if you have an Intel chipset, your integrated graphics card is Intel Graphics. Your dedicated graphics card is the main graphics card of your system, whether AMD or Nvidia, it does matter. The primary reason this problem happens is because of not having your display adapter aka graphics driver updated. So each one of your display adapter drivers should be updated to the latest version including your integrated graphics card display adapter. If you don't know how to identify your integrated GPU and updated corresponding display adapter, follow this tutorial. But first, please like this video and then comment down below if you use other methods that fixed your problem. First open your Windows settings and go to about. Then you can see your processor model. The processor model represents your integrated GPU somehow. Copy your processor model and search it in the company's website to download the driver. I myself have a Ryzen chipset. So I'm going to search my processor model in the AMD website. For Intel chipsets, skip to. If you're not sure about your AMD graphics model. Just download the auto detect version like I did. Now the hard part's over. Just check everything and wait for the installation. It may take a while. If installing or updating your both GPU display adapter didn't work, go for plan B. Nvidia has a post about this problem in his website. You may need some copy and pasting, so I'll put the link of the post in the description. First, search advanced system settings. Settings. Then click on environment variables. Then under system variables, click new and set the variable name to disable layer AMD switchable graphics one, not with a space with an underline and set the value to one. The variable name is in the description and you can copy it. If you have an Intel chipset, search for your Intel chipset model and be sure whether your integrated Intel graphics card supports Vulkan or not then go to drivers section and download the latest driver that was it you should be able to use Vulkan at this point although there is a temporary fix for people who still have Vulkan not showing and it's disabling your integrated graphics card if you do that Vulkan should show up at the end if none of these methods worked for you it may be a bug because there are still unanswered questions about this problem on the internet especially for Intel graphics. If you fixed your issue with another method, feel free to pass your knowledge in the comment section because it may help other people as well. If you enjoyed this video, then you'll probably would want to know how to change your RPCS3's theme. Or maybe you would want to know how to pick the best settings for each game in the shortest amount of time. So click on the screen right now and go watch my other videos. Thanks for watching.